Did you know about the annual OECS Swimming Championships? This year, for the first time in history, a youth delegation represented our Twin Island Federation at the 30th Annual OECS Swimming Championships. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with these representatives via Zoom. We have with us Winston Crook, President of the Eskane Swimming Federation, Yashwant Darianani, Head Coach, and the swimmers Skylar Connor and Williams Brothers, Justin and Austin. Welcome to Good Morning SKN, everyone. Good morning, welcome. All right, so this question goes to everyone here. Are you still on high from participating in the swimming championships? Who's going to take that first? The crook is smiling. <laughs> Mr. Crook, why don't you take it? <laughs> well, yes, I am. I mean, <laughs> I didn't actually swim, but yes, it's, it, was a, it was an amazing uh, thing to witness and uh, be part of. So, yes, uh, the answer to that is a resounding yes. All right. And anyone else? Any of the participants? Well, yeah. The, the kids should... Uh, Austin just... Okay, coach, you can take it. Well, well, I'm, I'm still in, uh, in the whole hype uh, because, to be honest, I've done all uh, international events, uh, including Olympic, but the OECS. So that was the first one for me, and it was pretty interesting. So the hype is still there. You said interesting. Can you expound on that? Yes. Um, so I've done a lot of uh, Caribbean uh, championship with a lot of teams. And um, this whole vibe of OECS I'd never experienced. And uh, this would have been my first OECS since I've never been part of uh, any OECS country or team. Um, so the whole vibe and the competition level was pretty high and intense. Um, so it, it was good. It was good to experience as well as a coach that's been to multiple events. So this was really good. Nice, nice. Mr. Crook, what was the motivation behind participating in this year's championships? Well, okay, it was, oh, it's, uh, my event in life is to try and see, to provide opportunity. So it was all about how to how can we provide an opportunity for the youngsters that I s could witness were uh, from the growing interest in the sport swimming, and the only way to uh, to see that enacted was to bring in a high level coach, uh, which is why Coach Yas was involved, to see if it was possible to take the, the the raw talent that we had, and was clear that we had, and elevate them to over a short period of time, because the OECS was the target, and it was four months away um, to see if it was possible to, with the right uh, input, to elevate the, the level of uh, the youngsters to see how they would respond. It was a lot of ifs, because they didn't know if this and if that. And to see it, to have those young, three youngsters go and represent in the way they did was extraordinary, you know. And so that was the, the vision was, to provide opportunity and to see if it, if it could all come to come to fruition, and it, and it did in a big way. Mm. Lovely, lovely. Now for the swimmers. How did you react when you discovered that you were traveled to St. Lucia for the championship? We're going to start with Skylar. I felt amazed. I I I didn't think I was being I could come to St. Lucia. Okay. Oh, so, so you didn't feel that you were ready to go to St. Lucia? Is that no, what you're no. saying? Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, and Justin and Austin? For me, I felt really anxious, but I was ready. Okay. Who just answered me, Austin or Justin? Justin. Okay, I can't hear the I can't hear the gentleman. I don't know what's if something's wrong with your audio. Maybe not, but we'll continue. We'll we'll come back to you guys. All right. So, Skyla, let's talk about what you love most about swimming. I really love the water and the competitive part of swimming. Ah, so the competition gets you. That's yes. interesting. 
So, th so going to St. Lucia then, you must have experienced the hype that we were talking to the president and the coach about. It was really exciting, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, Justin, Austin, can you hear me? Are you with us? Yes. Um, okay, great. For me, I like, what I like about the water is, and the swimmers was about, it was challenging. I like challenges that will force me to make it to my limits. Listen to you, oh my gosh, I'm already so impressed. <laughs> yeah. All right, what about the next guy? What did you like about it? <laughs> you don't you don't know what, what you like about swimming? No. 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 Oh, but you just do it and you're good at it. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could be like you. <laughs> okay, so I would want to know, and I sh I'm sure the whole federation would want to know what races did you participate in. So Skylar, we'll begin with you again. I participated in the 200 freestyle, the 100 freestyle, the 50 okay. freestyle. And we also participated in a relay with St. Martin. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Justin? Um, we participated in the 100 freestyle, the 50 freestyle, and the 200 freestyle. As well, we joined with St. Martin to, for a competition. Okay. Really. And... Go ahead. Um, that's all I have to say. All right, there's, yeah. Who's talking? Austin, is that you? All right, I guess not. All right, so let's talk about what your favorite part of the experience was. And again, this is for, um, this is for everyone. So why don't we start with, uh, let's start with Austin. What was your favorite part of this? Well, my favorite part was when somebody was able to meet me. That was your favorite part? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, Skylar. My favorite part was probably the experience. Uh -huh. So what about that? I like that you say experience, but what do you mean when you say that? Like experience a uh, full size swimming pool. Oh, nice. oh, that's what you were looking forward to. Okay, I get it. <laughs> and did you guys make any friends with people from uh, other OECS territories? Yes. Mm. Yes, Justin, you were saying something? Um, we made friends with someone from Grenada. Her name is Natalie Escobar. Yeah, that okay. was. It. Oh, nice. oh, you remember her. Mm -hmm. Okay, she must have made quite an impression. <laughs> All right, and, and coach, president, favorite part of the experience? Um, well, for me, um, I've, like I said, I was, I've, I've been to several competitions um, and I had taken a break for a while. Um, I think my favorite part was going back to the pool because I've been only doing clinics uh, for 10 months. And uh, going back to the pool for a competition with kids again, uh, that, that was what was really interesting and meeting the whole, all the coaches in the region again. So that, that really hyped me up to go back again to focus on competitions all over again and not only clinics. Mm, okay, nice, nice. Mr. Kurt? Well, for me, um, I have been to a number of these uh, meets before to evaluate and assess what is going on but this for me was ultra special because we, we, for the first time we we're going with swimmers from St. Kitts and Nevis youngsters and uh, that was always the most impressive thing we're going to see to meets is to see the youngsters uh, competing at a very high level and the level of excitement there was extraordinary especially as Skylar said and the, the guys were talking about the in the relays as well, it was it just reached a, a level that you extra, it was extraordinary the experience it really was, and to see the our flag flown there and the and the the youngsters representing was was amazing. It really was. Mm. Mm, nice. So, do you expect to take a bigger contingent the next time that you do go to these swimming championships, Mr. Kirk? 
Of course. I mean, this okay. is the start. It's, it's just the beginning. This is we, 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 The idea was to find out if we could, because obviously the, uh, this is what, what I asked of Yash as the head coach, okay. to ensure that the youngsters, when they went there, were able to be competitive. Okay. Yeah, to feel part of the be in the mix, and they were they they were exemplary, exemplary. They really were, and to give them a feeling of what is possible, and uh, the idea is to that this is the start of something new and different and exciting, and that we wish to grow. We have a squad already that that Yash has created of uh, nineteen youngsters, uh, and then the idea is they they graduate out of that to be race ready for the next competition. So the answer is most most definitely yes. The how we do it is another question, but, we, <laughs> but definitely yes. <laughs> nice. All right, so Skyla, I want to focus on you for a minute because you recently participated in the St. Martin Saul Optimist Dinghy Championships. And why don't you let everybody know uh, what you walked away with? What was your position? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Skyla. Can you say it again? I came in first. Oh, congrats. Yeah, yeah that's quite I an accomplishment. It. You got a trophy? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's sweet. I bet. And when you look at that trophy, what does that remind you of? Well, it's the boat that um, I sailed in. I won, basically. Oh, nice. Just a miniature how long have you been sailing? For four years. Oh, nice. And it paid off. Mm, not bad at all. Well, congratulations, Skyla. Very proud of you. Yeah. Obviously, you said you're competitive. You're used to winning. And I know that you're going to help the team advance. And that's exactly what the president and coach want to hear, as well as your teammates. That's great. So, Mr. Crook, for persons interested in joining the SKN swim team, how can they do so? Uh, well, the first step is to learn to swim, of course. It's always step by step. And then if they can join a, one of the many clubs that are forming now, we, we are in the great position of having it. At the, at the most, at the, at the least, we have six clubs that have formed between, between the islands uh, of Seguitz okay. and Nevis. Join a club. And then you'll learn the basics, first of all, and then you step by step, you get evaluated and, and, and rise through, as in all sports, you know, that you rise through as with your experience until eventually uh, the, the coaches will take notice of you and then accelerate your program so that you, can, you too can be part of the squad. I mean, the wonderful thing about swimming is that there, there is no limit to the number of persons who can be in the squad. It's just how you then prepare for different events and so on. As you will have heard from the youngsters, we concentrated solely on freestyle okay. uh, for this event. But there are three other strokes which are still to be learned and mastered and so on. So as, as they learn more strokes, they will have more opportunities to compete in different events. Mm -hmm.